Yes, my first electric skateboard <laughs> repair uh, video. And if you are new to my channel because you have no interest in hoverboard, uh, still check out uh, hoverboard uh, repair videos because it's basically the same. And I only bought this one very cheaply uh, for this motor because I would like to uh, make some tests with this motor. Uh, they are a bit faster, so about 50 RPM per volt, as I've calculated, uh, opposed to the 14, uh, great 14 <laughs> RPM per volt uh, with these hoverboard motors. But they are very small, and so I would like to make a wind, wind turbine, perhaps, with, with such a motor. Uh, only bought it uh, for the motor, but of course, okay, take a look, maybe I can... Uh, <laughs> make it work again and yes it was only the switch and then I, uh, the manual uh, was not very helpful so I needed to find out how to pair this and okay uh, just uh, to be a beginner video um, you need a multimeter and of course uh, checking the voltage at here at 20 volt or 200 volt because it's a 25 volt battery so to see how far the, the voltage advances uh, but really the, the most for me the most uh, valuable is here this diode tester with, with, a, uh, with an output on shortcut and so you can really check can check here these uh, even as you see if going from here to there uh, there might be a problem and uh, for first I was uh, confused because here there's a diode and but uh, no no diode inserted so uh, I, I tried a diode and then it was already starting up but I then also checked here this uh, switch and well it's a 5 amp but it's simply you see if it switched on and there's no shortcut here then well the switch is broken and here uh, I had to unsolder uh, here this is um, simply soldered in a socket uh, with uh, this from the hoverboard uh, switch because uh, the, the copper here was was uh, ripped off and there simply was no contact you see so it's going here from plus uh, 25 volt um, going here to the switch and but it never showed up here uh, at these two resistors that's a bit funny together they make 100 ohm and these go here to the voltage regulator uh, you see that's like like all here you see this also here has a voltage regulator and so they so um, what you can check here is always um, how the voltage uh, proceeds to to the first voltage re regulator and i think here then there's a second one um, uh, so this is making 12 volt because you need this for the gate drivers um, the gate voltage but for here this is a 5 volt system so this is a bluetooth and there is an arm arm m0 cortex uh, is, uh, some some but uh, on kyle for kyle there is a, a package so it might be possible uh, to also make an open source software for this uh, and so this has to be a second voltage regulator I don't see it right now which uh, transform from the 12 volt to, to 5 volt here it's 3.3 .3 volt or first it's 5 volt and then it's uh, here I think here it's 3.3 .3 volt so this cascade uh, you can check and and afterwards uh, if this is all okay um, then you can check the MOSFET, MOSFET. and here the special thing is um, there is no uh, insulation uh, like here you see there's uh, insulation and if this uh, board with screws uh, then uh, there is a, a plastic washer between uh, this is not here the case uh, because the backside of these MOSFETs uh, they have no function and so if you really uh, want to replace them so check the videos on how to test these uh, MOSFET and if you need to replace them then really take care to not replace them with, with something where the uh, output uh, the, which is pulled to ground uh, is also on, on the back side because then you will have a huge uh, shortcut or you, you would need to uh, find some 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 um, insulation here. Yeah, I simply here uh, um, glued in because they are always, uh, I had to remove the plastic here, they are always uh, with this uh, glue gun. So I simply glued in here another switch and uh, so yeah, that's it. So if I now turn it on, then here the LED comes to life. 
this was already quite easy here the, the battery status and here the pairing um, button was also um, non-functional so I had to um, some cables and I had to learn how to and it was um, I think uh, pushing both buttons on the side down for five seconds and this then this went on blinking which suggested oh now it's pairing and then I needed to power it on or I need to push this button I don't remember but now you see uh, okay if you first have to turn it on and then it's here it's working this is a bit uh, I wanted to test the motor, now I have a fully functional uh, long board, uh, which I have no use for. <laughs> I'm not allowed to drive on the street and it has only one hub motor, so no two hub motors. So I will test uh, how powerful it is. And so, okay, yeah, I got uh, 28. I have uh, for hoverboard 25 volt battery, so I could uh, add a bigger battery. And um, But I would somehow need to turn this into a bicycle. So it's an e-bike with pedal assisting. So maybe some pedal to push um, to, um, to charge the battery. It's here in Europe, something new. The court decided uh, that uh, pedal assist does no longer have, really has to be a mechanical. Uh, assisting. It is also uh, uh, allowed uh, now from the European Court uh, to uh, make a generator and pedal the generator to charge the battery and then fully drive electric. Uh, that's very nice. So my here, my solar car, which is uh, no pedal assist, I could simply add a generator uh, and, and make it an illegal e-bike um, and drive faster than the six uh, kilometers per hour. Uh, yeah, that's it uh, for a short test drive, but here it's going a little bit uphill, so it might not be powerful. And then I have to decide if I uh, take it apart in, indeed. You see there are no uh, sockets, they are soldered uh, directly because it's very little space. And so it's now either tear the thing down or, or, or don't know, sell it again. Um, make some profit and buy some some motors instead something like that I don't really know so if you have some ideas what I could do with this uh, perhaps making a, a surfboard with uh, with a wing and you pull the wing which is a pedaling and uh, thereby generating electricity or something some crazy because it's very lightweight it's only a 3.6 kilogram was really surprised and so if I you see if we could go for five kilometers uh, with, with this little battery and with some pedal assist this might be something cool but uh, it needs to be a, an e a pedelec an e-bike with pedal assist um, to drive out there yeah okay it's about 10 to 15 kilometers per hour max speed Oh yeah, that's that's faster. <laughs> so this is about 20, 20 kilometers per hour. It still rolls quite nicely without the battery, so the battery is empty. This is now uphill about uh, two percent, so it's still about 10 to 15 kilometers. And here, my solar warehouse, you can buy some wood from my lock pencil. Okay, bye-bye.